We have been sister cities with Rostov Veliki Russia for 37 years. And that relationship has brought cultural exchanges through that entire time. Uh, I, I had the privilege of uh, attending with my wife. We visited just a few years ago um, after a visit from the Russian delegation that came to Stevens Point. At the time, Mayor Constantine and myself planted maple trees, the state tree of Wisconsin, um, in one of Rostov's parks. And the idea came about to do something significant. Cultural Commons was really kind of a just getting brewing. And we thought about something that we could contribute as mayors of those respective cities for cultural commons. And this is what we came up with. Rostov Veliki has a very historic bell tower, uh, and I'm going to forget the numbers, but Susan can help me out here. I think there's about 17 bells in the Kremlin in Rostov Veliki, our sister city. The music that it produces is beautiful. Each bell plays a different note. Um, and some of the bells are as large as this entire area. So working with the Cultural Commons group, uh, the Sister City group, Ellis Construction, and many, many others, we formulated this arch. This arch is representative of the roof uh, where the bells are housed in the Kremlin in rostov Veliki. The architecture is very similar, and I want to thank Aaron Kadosh, who is somewhere over here, uh, for coming up with, oh, there he is, for coming up with the idea. To, to incorporate that housing into it. Jim Anderson over at Ellis Construction has been instrumental also in not only the, the Russian bell commemoration, but cultural commons in general. So the bell came about um, and it was cast in Yaroslavl, which is where many of the, the bells in Russia are cast. Uh, we wanted the authenticity of that as part of the cultural exchange that we're producing here today. So, uh, for those who can't read Cyrillic, Mayor Constantine gave me a translation. The words along the top say, Holy Russia, keep the Orthodox faith. Faith is your power. And I think that's pretty significant, especially in times like this, where if we didn't have faith, we'd be lost as a community. With all of the different things going on, we need to make sure that we keep that faith, and faith is our power. So I think it's very significant. The bottom of the bell, it says, this bell was made in the summer of 2019 for the Sister Cities Park in Stevens Point. Dedicated from Mayor Constantine, Seymour, and Mayor of Stevens Point, Mike Wiesa. Seymour is a, a friend of Mayor Constantine who helped create and send the bell to us. So it was important that he be recognized on there as well. We have some icons. Four icons along the bell that are pretty significant. The front icon is the Holy Trinity. On the left side is Iberian Mother of God, basically Mary and baby Jesus. On the right side of the bell, it's a, a saint in Russia, Sergius of Rodenens. Then on the back side, it's an icon of St. George the Victorious. So all of these icons and, and writing and descriptions signify the friendship that we've had over 37 years with our sister city. I think it's uh, important that we recognize all of the people that had uh, participated in this. So how about a big round of applause for Ellis Construction, Jim Anderson, Aaron Kadosh. On the city side, much of the fabricating was done in-house at our very own streets department. You have Dennis Laidlaw, the street superintendent, and Roger Skritchkowski, who did all of the fabricating. So thank them very much as well. And then I want to thank the community, everybody else that played a part in this. Uh, from taking a, a paver and dedicating your pavers at one of the, the cultural sites, to the ideas and the concepts and as this thing evolved, uh, we want to also recognize the indigenous people that were here before us so we know that we can acknowledge the, that the land we stand on was not ours. Um, and the rice harvesting sculpture that was most recently installed is part of that. I am so excited to have Cultural Commons nearing completion because of the significance that it represents. We are not one type of people. We are literally the melding pot and all of the people represented here among others, make us who we are as a community. So what I'd like to do 
because we've had 37 years, um, I'd like to ring the bell at least 37 times. I think everybody who's here who would like to participate and ring the bell once, we'll, we'll make time for that. But the first 37 are gonna represent those years of our partnership with our Sister City Project. Before we do that though, I want uh, Susan Zock to come up and talk a little bit about the Sister City Project and her involvement with that. So Susan? The mayor has said so much about what the impetus for this whole guard in the park. It's, it's a wonderful statement, a positive statement about cultures respecting diversity, uh, understanding, peace through understanding. Our own project started in 1983 um, when there was a Cold War going on with the Soviet Union and we were aiming missiles at each other. And we learned about the Sister Cities International and actually we started with a project called um, um, the Zero, Ground Zero Pairing Project that paired us with the city of Rostov Veliki, uh, about 120 kilometers northeast of Moscow. And so many of you have participated since then the, the whole idea is, is that if we get to know each other personally, one-to-one, -one, people to people, we come to understand each other better, and it is less likely that we will want to aim missiles at each other and destroy each other. So it definitely was born in an era of Cold War, um, and it has blossomed through the work of so many of you that are here today. Um, Maya is our, Maya and I are co-chairs of the Sister City Project. Um, we have visited, Maya was there as a student assistant to some teachers that went over over the years. We've had teacher exchanges, students coming here. We've had the art um, community ex making exchanges. Um, so many and uh, it's, it's just really wonderful to see so many of you here. So with that, while Susan's getting everybody lined up, um, I want to dedicate this bell and installation to the people of Stevens Point and the people of our sister city, Rostov Veliki, Russia. Thank you, Mayor Constantine, and everyone involved in the Sister City Project. That's pretty awesome.